Okay, so this one has a thin film on it. This is a nice little diamond, and, and it's very shiny. It's a real diamond, and it really shines. And, and the mirror effect gives me the ability to focus it out the other side. For my lasers, I'm going to build space-bound lasers. Hey, okay, but that, that is, there's no color inside of it. It's a clear diamond. Okay? And the, the, the layer here is just sputtered onto the outside, uh, on the top. And it's just one layer, one thin layer of titanium and and we do it so that it doesn't make a complete mirror in this case so that people can uh, have the uh, benefit of being able to see the sparkles amplified by the by the reflection off the back um, but it also gives you Really cool colors on the other side. Yeah, they're much closer to uh, spectrum colors this way. Um, and these aren't, these have that kind of purpley greenish tint to them. And they, that's uh, part of the thin film. Thing. You don't get true color. Some stones give you true color. There's no film on this. It's um, completely clear. And the structure of the stone breaks light into its component colors. It's a three-dimensional thing, so that the, uh, uh, the light passing through hits the, uh, in this case, it's a, it's a carbon atom, and the, the carbon um, crystal has a, a close packed cubic arrangement and that that is uh, basically 13 atoms <clears throat> and uh, they, they arrange themselves in such a way that uh, they're staggered they don't they don't line up one two three one two three four five in a row they go bump 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 because the next row is also staggered and the next row is all and and that that middle one means they they can move as close together as they can possibly get and then it creates a unit cell that is half the size of a wavelength of visible light. And when they uh, pass through, they reflect you know, the, the, the gap between the um, between the spheres changes and the, the the rows and columns that are created by the orderly arrangement of spheres um, creates layers, right? Layers, rows, and columns. Layers of those rows and columns. And there's three dimensions as you move it around. They change, but the rows and columns remain the same because they are um, uh, half the size 
of a wavelength of visible light, the, the unit cell that makes them. So no matter which way you look, you get a play of color. That's how opals work, and that's how this very, 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 very special diamond works. And my very, 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 very special diamond is also going to uh, Tucson this week. We're going to see what GIA thinks of that. Um, it's amazing. 